Good evening, everybody, and welcome. Once again, this is Enrico from Conductive Music, welcoming you to the first episode of Steam Corner. I know many of you were looking for us yesterday, and we did indeed go live, but apologies, a couple of our channels didn't catch on. It was our fault, you know, some teething issues with the tech, but today we should be live on all the platforms so uh, if you're watching us on YouTube uh, thank you guys don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon drop us a like if you're on Facebook on all of our pages and our friends pages we're streaming there as well obviously if you guys are gamers or musicians or other type of artists and are, you are on Twitch that's where we are and this is also our very first stream on live XP so thank you guys at live XP for hosting our content there we really look forward to a long collaboration so first things first who are we in case it's the first time you see us and what do we do we are a small uh, steam based uh, London company steam means uh, science technology engineering arts and mathematics it's when pretty much you put together the arts and the sciences to do something incredibly creative this series is called steam corner like our online learning platform which will launch in January and uh, it's dedicated to helping you and everybody else to be creative with free apps and lots of creative content in uh, making music, making art, learning how to code and uh, pretty much reaching the nirvana of STEAM. Today's lesson is dedicated in particular to uh, those in year one and two. If you guys are not from England, I believe that means about uh, four and five years old and uh, six, depending on obviously when you're born. And obviously all of the parents that have children of that age and obviously all of the teachers. So we normally go in the schools, deliver workshops, we create video content for teachers, we train teachers, but we also stream live. It's something that we started new uh, since March. So please welcome uh, and enjoy the content. One little thing, because as of next week, well, actually, as of today, in England, there is a new form of lockdown for a month in which the schools remain open, but af unfortunately, the after-school clubs will not happen. So as a creative response to that, we did promote a after-school online Steam club. So for the entire month, starting Monday, we're going to have four weeks with two lessons every week. You can join us for the level one on the Monday for 30 to 5.30 London time or on a Thursday for the level two. Same time for 30 to 5.30. Four lessons, all dedicated to being creative with music and coding. So you'll be able to, if you join us on level one, become familiar with the block based coding and create uh, adventure, musical adventures together with us. If instead you want to join at the level two, that is a bit more of an open course where I'm not going to give you the content, but we are going to brainstorm together the content and you can join us with your own project. So once again, all of our contacts are on uh, uh, Facebook, on YouTube, on, on Twitch, on Twitter. You can find the tickets everywhere, but obviously on Eventbrite. And it's just £20 for the entire course. If you are a teacher and you'd like to subscribe your entire class, we have tickets for £200 for a class of 30. So I think that's a pretty awesome uh, uh, opportunity. So once again, once the after school clubs are off, we'll be on. So we'll stream on Zoom. And uh, parents who are listening, we keep all of the cameras and all of the microphones off. And this is to provide a safe learning environment to all of our students. And uh, obviously the chat is always on fire and will always be replying to as many questions and as many messages that you like. OK, so even today, if you want, uh, we've got the uh, the stream chat. So if you've got any questions, please try to drop them through and uh, we'll do our best to answer them. So as I said, today's the first session. So every Wednesday, six o'clock, don't forget, we'll be live every Wednesday, six o'clock. This is London time. Um, and today's focus is year one and two. I would like to introduce you to a suite of musical apps that uh, are absolutely fabulous. They're free. They work straight off the browser. So all you need is 
a anything connected to the internet, which I'm sure you have because otherwise you couldn't see me right now. Um, I suggest using the Chrome browser, but if you don't have that one, anything provided that it's up to date will do. And finally, a pair of headphones. Those are always good because obviously you can uh, hear the music a little bit better. So the main character, actually the main characters of today are the Chrome Music Lab apps. So let me show you. And let's add some music. All right. So this is what you get greeted with as soon as you Google Chrome Music Lab. You see there's the title up here, Chrome Music Lab. There's quite a few of those. Actually, I never counted. It's 4, 8, 12, 14 of these apps. They are quite brilliant because they can be used just for fun. If you're a little one and you want to have fun making music, this is what you should do. I would suggest start from Kandinsky. He is my favorite one. This one transforms drawings into little loops. That means a fragment of music that gets repeated multiple times. So let me just stop this uh, soundtrack for a minute so we can experiment with what this sounds like. <laughs> And when I play it all together, but it's not just this. If there is a shape like a square, oh, something else happens. A circle, and maybe a triangle. Oh, there we go. Ha ha! We got some percussion. And let's see what happens. Not bad, huh? can change the quality of the sound. And there's one more. So teachers, maybe you're stuck inside because outside is too cold, it's red. This will work on your smart board. You just put it on and you can just start painting with the fingers. Um, obviously for you guys at home, you can use the mouse, but if you're on a tablet, you just load it on a browser. So parents out there uh, helping your little ones, that's absolutely fine. And you can just use your fingers to draw it. I'm just gonna give you a quick uh, challenge here because I would like to create a, a drum loop as well as a little melody happening at the same time. So what's a drum loop? Well, you know what the drums are, right? Uh, the drum set. And we're just going to need three sounds here. We're going to need the kick drum, which is the big sound, the big one on the floor with a pedal. The snare drum, which is the pa, the one in the middle, which is very loud. loud. And the hi-hat, which are the two symbols, one on top of the other, usually on the right-hand side or left, if you're left-handed, obviously. So to do that, you need to draw some triangles. And the triangles, remember one thing, to make it so to make them as a one stroke only. All right? Otherwise, it'll not recognize it. So let's start by trying to figure out what rhythm we're going to do. So I suggest doing the so-called boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats. So if I do it very simply, I can do boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats in one of the next lessons i'll show you how to do this uh, uh, body percussion exercise it's gonna be a lot of fun so let's try first of all i'm gonna find a boots so the kick drum it should be somewhere down here so let's see if i can fetch one. Oh yeah that's a powerful one and that would be the hi-hat not quite let's see try again bit higher maybe yeah not bad and is the snare drum so it should be somewhere down here almost <laughs> it's challenging me now almost almost maybe a bit lower let's see here no okay fair enough I'll leave it here and another hi-hat so let's see all right now I'm going to add a little bit of a melody, all right? And 
can start destroying the rhythm by adding other rhythms in the middle. So let's try here. It's not bad, huh? And with just one touch, just one touch, you can create a completely different sound. So here you go, this was Kandinsky, like the famous painters of the beginning of the 21st century. And uh, it's all free for you. The way to access it is simply go to the Chrome Music Lab. Uh, I suggest using Google Chrome as a browser because it's a bit more stable, but anything else that you've got, uh, as long as it's up to date, will do the job, okay? So I hope this was fun. And by the way, guys, the link just down here, bit.ly forward slash Steam Corner with capital S and capital C will take you to our Eventbrite page if you want the tickets for the After School Club starting next week, yeah, next Monday. Um, so let's take a look at another of these apps. I would like to jump on the Song Maker, uh, which again can be used as a, a toy or for something a bit more advanced. But let's start from uh, randomly using it and see how it works. I'm just going to do a stroke of the mouse across the screen. And let's see what happens when I play it. Okay, obviously when it's uh, all a bit random, it doesn't sound as good, but uh, let's see if I can put some uh, some notes. Let's see. Not bad, not bad. Let me just finish the pattern. Let's add some drums to this. See how it's easy to change the sound? Just gonna click just here. And we've got a piano. Say that I wanna go a little bit more in depth and change perhaps uh, the tempo. Let's see, maybe I want to do it in uh, three beats per bar. And then instead of a major scale, I want to be a bit more pentatonic scale. Uh, by the way, guys, uh, pentatonic scale, maybe you can think about it as the steel pans. Uh, those uh, will be usually t tuned in the major or minor pentatonic scale. So that type of sound. And uh, let's see what happens. the music changed quite quickly but also this is not the only way in which you can make the music if you are in a music room for example and there or even a home obviously if you've got a midi keyboard so basically a portable piano it usually has a usb cable that you can connect straight into the computer and if you do that then you can hit this button here select its name uh, sometimes you might have to install a couple of drivers depending on the brand that you're using. And then uh, as you play, you can compose and write this. Teachers who are listening, these colors are not random. I'm sure some of you have already uh, recognized what this system is. It's the chroma note key, which um, in plain English is nothing but the boom wax. You know those uh, pipes, plastic pipes, that are colorful that you find around the school with kids hitting each other with well those are the boom wax and uh, for those of you who do not know they are really cool instruments that uh, are just pipes and then when you hit uh, usually the floor not somebody else with or a chair or something like that they resonate a little bit with that note and each of those colors has a special code because red, for example, is always C. Uh, orange gives you the note D. Yellow, the note E. Um, F for uh, uh, green. And uh, uh, G, I think, is a darker green. Oh, no, it's a blue here. There you go. There we go. Perfect. So 
This is another way to create music, which obviously, by the way, can be saved. Eh? If you hit save here, it will give you a link and you can uh, just share it. Uh, with other friends or, you know, post it on uh, uh, a blog, on Twitter, or wherever you need to do it. There is one more way, which is quite weird, but also quite fun. Let me just clean up here and uh, you can sing into it, which is pretty cool. So let me just get the first note. Tom. All right. So. Da -da 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 -da. OK, I'm going to grab the microphone. I'm going to let it turn on. Now you can sing the notes. Tum, tum. <laughs> it's very sensitive. And then you can play it back. Um, so it's, it's quite cool. It can always be used as a toy or you can use it in a bit more advanced way to play with other people. And um, obviously it's a very, it's, it's always a smart board friendly. So if you're in class, if you're a teacher or if you're a student and want to ask the teacher, that will work. Okay. Uh, in these days, guys, please remember to wash your hands before and after because obviously you're touching stuff. Okay, so let's take a look at one more thing. It's a pretty new addition to the uh, Chrome Music Lab, and it's called the Shared Piano. As soon as you get in, this one takes a little bit longer to load because it's creating a, um, a what's it called, a shared, a kind of a server, a space in a server, because it allows you to invite other people to play alongside yourselves. There we go. We've got a big piano. And uh, do you see here, I've got the little frog. Uh, my, that's my avatar for this session. Ah, sorry, it's just behind my uh, label. There you go. You saw it right now for a second. And uh, let me see. I can use a different... Uh, let's use a synthesizer for this. It's pretty cool. So if you click on copy link, you can send the link to your friends, to other students, and you can create a... Um, Ah, sorry, uh, Charlie, thank you very much. Thank you for staying. Have a lovely evening and uh, see you next time. Thank you for your lovely message. And uh, uh, so, guys, you can share that uh, uh, link with other people and invite and make music together. Now, how can you make music together? So, minimum three things. Number one, just use your mouse. Look. Number two. If you've got uh, a touch screen, obviously just try your fingers. That'll do, no problem. Number three, which is probably the most common, is to use the computer keyboard. So allow me to demonstrate real quick. Okay, sorry for the <laughs> last uh, uh, buzz. So the way this works is... Um, each of the keys on your computer keyboard actually represent a note. And this is a beautiful thing that exists in all of the music software. Pretty much all of them have got this function. Now, if you do have a keyboard in front of you, please take a look. And you see the letter A, it's on the left hand side of your keyboard. And next to it, you've got S, D, F, G, H, J, K, L. Okay. Now, let me press these notes, these letters actually, one after the other. If you study music, you probably recognized it. This is the C major scale. So how does this work? Well, I'm not pressing C to get C, D to get D. No, 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 no. That would be far too complicated because remember the keyboard is made to type, not to play. But now imagine a piano keyboard put on top of the computer keyboard. That changes completely. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Pizza Cross Gamer. Thank you so much. That's lovely. So imagine this piano keyboard placed on top of your computer keyboard. And now from A going towards the right, you'll find all the white keys of your piano. Here we go. I can also go an octave lower by pressing Z. 
even lower. Maybe too much. <laughs> With the letter X instead, I can push up. Let me just try and change instrument, for example. What do we do? Um, actually, you know what? Let's jump to the drum machine. Uh, sorry, to the drum kit. That's going to be even more fun. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? So you can play, make music with your friends in real time. This has got no delay. I really, I really enjoy this because we tested it the other day. There is absolutely no delay. So you can actually play quite cool music uh, together. Um, what I, I forgot to tell you is how to get to the black keys. Now with the, uh, with the mouse, obviously it's quite easy because you just go up there on your keyboard. Take a look again at your uh, computer keyboard. You see the letters A, S, D, F, G, H. Now go one row above. Don't start from Q, forget about Q, and look at W, E, T, Y, U. And here it is. Oh, pardon, a bit low. Lower. That's it. Isn't that amazing, guys? This is pretty good. I think it's a quite good, fun uh, app to use all the time. And remember, this is all free. Chrome Music Lab, always available. Um, let's jump to something else, because uh, as I said, there's 14 of those. It's quite a lot. So the next one. Oh, just a moment. It's uh, complaining. And let's exit. Wonderful. Okay, so we took a look at the Kandinsky, at the Songmaker, and at the Share Piano. This one is a cool way to start creating some rhythms. And uh, by the way, guys, nothing stops you from uh, opening up multiple browser tabs and getting multiple sounds going at the same time, which is quite cool. Um, I'm going to skip a couple of these because I want to jump into a few more advanced things. Now, these apps can be used as a toy, obviously. You just put it on, play around, and create some music. Nothing wrong with that. Don't get me wrong. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But in case you are interested, maybe uh, you are a older sibling now listening to this, and maybe you do study physics, or maybe you are a science teacher, and you're trying to explain acoustics in a very simple way. Well, I'm going to tell you that I use these apps to create a um, music and uh, the science of sound course at uh, 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 undergraduate level in a university in Hong Kong and it worked pretty well to non-specialists so this is how it works so for those of you in year one and two all you have to do is put your finger on top and swipe through listen to these beautiful sounds <laughs> That's beautiful, isn't it? Now, the word at the top here is harmonics. I don't know if you ever had this opportunity, but uh, it's a bit silly thing to do, but it's a lot of fun. Um, especially maybe if you help your parents building something, maybe the extension to the house or something in the garden. And at some point you were putting down some uh, pipes, one of those flexible ones. I think they are called the electrical ones because they can bend around. Oh, by the way, if you have a swimming pool with a motor, they should have those type of uh, pipes as well. So this is not an activity to do inside. OK, this is not something you can do inside. And please do ask permission to your parents. But if you do have C's, these things, parents as well, this is a cool thing to do. You can take the pipes and start spinning them in the air. Please do them outside, not inside. You're going to break something. So please go outside. You spin them in the air, and as you spin them, you will hear the root note of that pipe. Each pipe, different diameter, different length, will have a different sound. So perhaps it's going to be this. As you speed up, the air is going to flow through quickly, and this is it. 
and then further and then further and further and further okay so this is a perfect way to explain the series of harmonics quick touch for the musicians out there this is what i'm talking about is basically the root note the octave above the fifth the octave and then after that the formation of the um pretty much the the the, the dominant seven chords really until we create the full diatonic scale uh, forget this uh, musical mambo jumbo um, if you just want to play some music with it in connection to this all of you who are playing some string instrument i'm talking about guitars violin viola cello double bass um banjo ukulele i'm sure you've played at some point something like this so this is how this works this is a plucked string so here we go You see, you can make a piece of music just by playing around with the mouse or obviously with your fingers. Teachers, don't worry, these will work on a smart board. Absolutely, absolutely. Just don't forget to wipe them clean before and after. Now, what is the physics that uh, determines the sound here? Well, this is a string, isn't it? Now, this is a string that is uh, allowed to vibrate for free. No, for free, sorry. <laughs> to vibrate freely in the air. Now, imagine this black dot to be your finger. It could be in the middle of the frets of a guitar, so on the 12th fret. So it's going an octave above, octave lower, higher. Okay? And then uh, instead of this, is going to be three quarters of the way, so I believe it's going to be an 18th fret on a guitar. Uh, I'm not sure which position it is on the violin. It should be a second position, I'm going to say, but I'm not an expert on strings, sorry about that. Um, but your finger is here, so... This is two thirds, and this is three quarters, four fifths, and six sevenths of a string split. So for those of you teachers, science teachers, physics teachers that need to teach acoustic, this is, I think, a perfect method because immediately you can see shorter string, higher the pitch. And then you can talk about the nodes and the modes of vibration and whatever else uh, you need to for your physics stuff. So this is just to prove that the same app can be used for the early years to just make some fun music, but also in a very in a much more advanced way and quite scientific, let's say. Um, we promise to keep you here for just about uh, 30 minutes. Uh, so it's a uh, 29 past at the moment. But what I'd like to do, if you will allow me, is just to add one more thing. It's going to be not more than five minutes. If you do have to run away, guys, not to worry. It's absolutely fine. Um, but please do come back and check the video. It's going to be recorded and available on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Twitch, and LiveXP. If you have some curiosity, please do not forget to buy the ticket for our course starting next week. For four weeks, you can have level ones on the Mondays, 4.30 to 5.30. It's the online Steam Club. The link will appear just at the bottom of the screen in a second. And uh, alternatively, you can get the level two. For those of you who have a bit more experience in coding and want to um, just refine your skills. So here's the link, bit.ly forward slash Steam Corner with a capital S and capital C. All right. Let me jump out to the next app right here we go the oscillators it's a complicated word isn't it but let's see what they do here's a square i don't know if you can hear it but there's a click at the moment at the bottom of my square wave now what's this stuff well a square wave is basically one of the fundamental parts of a synthesizer it can be a physical thing or like in this case it can be something that people have coded and it generates sound square wave because it's got the shape of a square it's got all 90 degrees angle and um, how can we reproduce it in real life 
Well, think of a light switch and you switch it on and off. In this case, once a second. And that's the sound it makes. If you were able to do it 134 times a second, that would be the sound. 202. Right? And uh, those numbers at the bottom, it's what we call the frequency. We measure those in Hertz and it's uh, nothing but the tuning of the wave. So for those of you playing any acoustic instrument, I'm sure you know that you are tuning. If you use a tuner, you always tune to 440 and uh, 440 will be, let's see if I can fetch it. There we go, there's a 440. Ah, thank you, Ben. <laughs> thank you for the lovely comment. <laughs> You're great. All right. Let's get one more of these. So tooth. Uh, so, so this is another oscillator. So once again, imagine if you are listening to any piece of electronic music, which I'm going to say is pretty much any song which is not made by playing acoustic instruments or the electric guitar. OK, everything else like drum machines, synthesizers and stuff, they use these. And the sawtooth, um, imagine this as a little ramp. So imagine putting like a brick and then a table, uh, no, sorry, a table, uh, a piece of wood, and then maybe jumping over this ramp with a bike or with a skate or something like that. And uh, this is the sound it makes. So it's a bit less rough than the other one. And uh, let's move forward. Triangle. So these are two ramps, one against the other. Instead of doing ramp and then drip down immediately, dip down immediately, you have a ramp and another ramp. And it's a bit, uh, let's call it a bit softer. And uh, let me finish with, oh, it got stuck. Let me finish with one more. It's called the sine wave. For those of you maybe studying GCSE or for those teachers that want to explain and finally, understand what a sine wave is. Well, this is it. Uh, guys studying maths and physics and trigonometry, I, I, I suspect uh, about year 9 or year 10, if you're listening. Um, that annoying thing that's called S-I-N, and then there's an X between brackets, or C-O-S-I-N, so cosine. Uh, they are basically the, both thing, the same thing inverted. But this is actually how they would say this is the sign. Can you feel that oscillation, that vibration? Whoa, 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 whoa. And that's it. So I just wanted to finish this uh, little demonstration by sharing these four types of ways with you. So next time you listen to a electronic piece of music, please try to imagine that every little sound, including the drum sounds, every absolutely every sound is made by an infinite number of these waves. And once again, I, I hope I proved, it, I proved to you that it can be a very, very simple toy this uh, suite of apps, or it could be a great um, educational or even scientific um, uh, resource. So if in case you wanted to know more about this stuff, on our YouTube channel, my colleague Dr. Yui Shikakura has created a whole series of videos dedicated to the early years, so for those of you in year one and two, but even in foundation, that uh, explain in depth all of the creative process. I've went quite quickly by showing you a few different uh, possibilities, but uh, there is a lot more to discover in here, okay? So uh, just go for it. It's free. Why not? So. I'm going to let you go now and uh, thank you very much for your time. Please, if you have uh, the time, if you're interested in uh, how to combine music, technology and uh, creative coding, please join us from next week for the entire month. Okay, Mondays 4.30 to 5.30 for the level one, 
Same time on Thursdays, 4.30 to 5.30 for the level two. If you are interested in a ticket just for your child, uh, the parents, it's just 20 pounds for the entire course. If instead you're a teacher and you want the full course is 200 pounds for 30 students for a full class. Okay, so it's a very convenient um, offer. Uh, for those of you instead interested in our live streams, we're going to be live again. Let me make a little bit of an announcement. So once again, guys, the tickets are on a bit.ly forward slash Steam Corner with capital S and capital C. They are just down here coming up. That's the link, Steam Corner. All right. And uh, let me close with a little bit of uh, uh, music. So thank you for joining. And obviously, uh, thanks to our sponsors, obviously. Uh, the Arts Council England and the 18 music education hubs scattered throughout England that uh, fund us and allow us to bring these sessions to you for free. So I hope you enjoyed it and we will be live next Wednesday on uh, YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, LiveXP, 6 p.m. That is London time, 6 p.m. Okay, so see you there. And thank you for your time. Do not forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon, like us on Facebook, and uh, drop us a comment and also any questions that you might have, okay? Have a wonderful evening. Take care, guys, and uh, see you next, uh, hopefully next Monday. Bye-bye. See you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.